Chug Dog, Chihuahua and Pug Mix The Chug is a hybrid dog and a cross between the Chihuahua and the Pug. Fun-loving, loyal, and tiny, the Chug comes with some of the best characteristics of both of their small, feisty parent breeds. Chug puppies can inherit a mix of both positive and negative traits from their parent dog breeds. While the Chihuahua is known to be spunky yet loyal, the Pug is famous for being a goofy, playful pup. Your new Chug's personality can be a mix of any or all of these traits. Some Chug owners rave that their dog is cuddly and relaxed while others report that their Chug has a comedic Napoleon complex and can get a tad aggressive around strangers. Also known as the Pugwawa and the Pugwawa, the Chug is as cute as its adorable name suggests. With a big, round head and large, soulful eyes, Chugs make the perfect companion for both city apartment dwellers and suburban homeowners. But as with any animal, owning a Chug dog can come with its perks and drawbacks. Let's explore everything that this tiny pooch with a big personality has to offer. What is the price of Chug puppies? Once you find a great Chug breeder that you are interested in working with, expect the puppy to cost you between $400 and $800. Whatever the case for your puppy may be, it's always important to get him from a high-quality and reputable breeder. As the popularity of mixed breed dogs increases, so does the potential for puppy mills and backyard breeders. As with any major decision, it's critical to do your homework before making a commitment to any breeder. You can find a good breeder by asking for referrals from pet care professionals, such as vets or trainers, asking your friends or family members for recommendations, attending a local dog show in your area. Here are a few tips for working with a reputable breeder. Meet the breeder. The best way to get to know a breeder better is by meeting them in person. Be sure to observe both the dogs and the breeder. Do the dogs look healthy? Do they seem happy? Is the premise clean and odor-free? Does the breeder seem to genuinely love their animals? How do the dogs interact with the breeder and with you? Both the parents and chug pups shouldn't shy away from the breeder and act outgoing with you. Ask questions. One of the biggest benefits of working with an outstanding breeder is that they can be counted on throughout the life of your chug. When meeting with the breeder, come prepared with a list of questions you'd like to ask them. Remember there is no such thing as a dumb question. Meet the parents, there's no better way to see how your chug will grow up than by seeing his parents. It will give you a better understanding of your new puppy's temperament and size. Get a full medical history report. A reputable breeder will be more than happy to provide you with such health screening documents as OFA and SURF certificates. Also remember that owning a dog is a long-term commitment. The average monthly cost of owning a chug, including food, treats, supplies, and vet bills, is between $125 to $824. Three little-known facts about chugs. 1. Be sure to bundle up. Since they are short-haired dogs, chugs do not like cold, wintry weather and love being dressed in a coat or sweater for wintertime walks. 2. Small but mighty. Your chug could come with a muscular face that strongly resembles that of a boxer. 3. Royal Companions. Did you know that the pug parent breed was actually a companion breed for Tibetan royalty in 206 BC? They were actually named after the Pugil kingdom. Temperament and intelligence of the chug. Opening your home to a hybrid dog is a box of surprises and can come with a mixture of personality traits from both his parent breeds. Keep in mind that your chug pup's personality will depend upon if he takes after his pug or chihuahua parent breed. He can be a sweet comedian, like the pug, or a little imperious, like the chihuahua. Your chug will most likely be feisty yet loyal. As with chihuahuas, the chug can sometimes become fiercely attached to one particular member of the household and even become territorial over that person. Fortunately, the right training techniques will curb this unwanted behavior. Are these dogs good for families? One study has indicated that your dog will be less prone to separation anxiety if he lives with a family. Chugs thrive with couples and active families with older children. If you have tiny tots running around your house, you may want to consider getting a different breed. The Chihuahua side can sometimes get snippy around young kids. Does this breed get along with other pets? It's always best to start socializing your chug from a young age so that he is friendly with all of the pets in the household. Take him to the dog park or walk throughout your neighborhood to get him acclimated to other dogs and people. When properly socialized, chugs can make fantastic housemates to the other four-legged members of your family. Things to know when owning a chug. In order to help your chug thrive, here are some tips for feeding, grooming, and exercise. Food and diet requirements. The chug is a small dog with a big appetite. If you're not careful he may chug all of his food down. So, try not to overdo it on the treats, 
even when he is tempting you with his adorable, wrinkled face. Also, keep his daily caloric consumption to under 600 every day. This roughly equates to one cup of dry, high-quality kibble per day. Excess weight can exacerbate some health issues, including joint problems and breathing difficulties. Exercise. Despite their small frame, the chug is high energy. Luckily, they can burn it off very quickly and tire themselves out within 45 minutes. Ideally, your chug should be enjoying a 30-minute walk followed by 15 minutes of playtime every day. Due to their short snout, you should never overexert your chug because he may have trouble breathing. They shouldn't accompany you on a jog, but they do love to play. Training. The chug can be simple to train as they are fairly bright and eager to please. But, thanks to their chihuahua parent breed, they can also be extremely stubborn. You will need to be patient and consistent when training your chug, and always use positive reinforcement as your training method. Punishment methods have been known to promote anxiety and problematic behaviors in chugs. Yapping is a common issue in chugs. Instead of using punishment, Give them a tasty treat when they stop barking or when they do not yap in a situation in which they normally would. Grooming Your chug is a low-maintenance dog when it comes to grooming. However, brush him once a week to remove dander and dead fur. Be sure to also gently clean their adorable face wrinkles daily with a baby wipe or damp cloth. If your pet's big, bulging pug eyes suffer from secretion, gently clean them too with a damp cloth. Health and Conditions your chug will be predisposed to many of the same conditions that his parent breeds face. Minor conditions. Eye issues, like cherry eye or cataracts and obesity. Serious conditions. Respiratory problems, heat stroke, hypoglycemia, and hip dysplasia. The short facial structure will also make it difficult for your chug to breathe. A brachycephalic dog, it is critical to not overexert this breed. Male versus female. Now that you're convinced that you want to bring a chug into your life, the only question left to answer is if you want a boy or a girl. While the male chugs can be a tad bigger, about 1 inch and 1 to 2 pounds heavier, than their female counterparts, both genders generally have the same temperament and personality traits. Final thoughts. If you're seeking a goofy breed that loves to love, think about getting a chug. These dogs are confident comedians who are devoted to their human companions. They have limited exercise needs which make them ideal for older adults or city apartment dwellers and their willingness to please means that they're easy to train. Just be sure to start socializing with them early on, don't overexert them, especially in the summer, and keep a watchful eye on them when they are playing with your young kids. If you like the video then make sure to hit that like button. Also if you want more dog training, guides, information then make sure to subscribe to our channel. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments and thank you for watching. And please consider subscribing our channel for more about dog training and dog breeds content every day.